do it with. Take a bath. You open your body and rub it. See? See? Like this. Why are you crying, fool? See, put it in your hand, smell it nicely, and you come. Like this. See? You won't die. You only get a little black. Come to me. Oh! Don't run away from me. Like this. When he finishes, you tell me I'll buy more for you. You hear? Rob! Rob the rest of it on your body. It's jail. The people that made it, did they say that if you rub it on your body that you die? Did they say that? This is yours. Don't do otherwise. Don't drop that your normal cream. This is the new normal. This is the new normal. Say thank you. Say thanks, ma. You're welcome. If it's you, if it's you, look good. A wife. Huh? Why would my house be in a mess like this? What is wrong with her? Tracy does nothing in this house. Absolutely nothing. Who oh, is so unkept? I go on like this. I'm sure if I go into the kitchen right now, the whole place will still be a mess like this. What is this? How long will I keep going on like this? Come home and get some quality rest. I, I come home to, to, to a messed up house. And I have a wife! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No sense. You want to know where I've been, right? Mm -hmm. It will interest you to know that I've been in the kitchen and in the sitting room and all over the house cleaning up the mess you refuse to clean. Oh my God. And for food, I've eaten. And you have. Wait a minute, you ate without calling me to join you? Like you care. I do care. What did you eat? Noodles. Okay. At least now I know you've eaten. That's a big relief. I was kind of worried about you. Are you serious? You call noodles food? Huh? Is that what I am supposed to have for dinner? After a tedious day at work? Is that what? A family man like me is supposed to eat when he comes back from work. Huh? What is wrong with you, African man? Is it until you eat apple, semu, gare, swallow that you'll be satisfied having eaten food? Is it until that I, I don't get it? Thank God you said African man. Tracy, just look at me. I am one. An African man. That likes is a goosey or ha or bono. Apple, Gary, give it to me. That's what I want. Soul food. Not junk. Baby, that's why I said that we 
should get a cook. Look. To cook the meals and, and, and a cleaner and a maid too, to clean up the house. Okay. Stop. I just came in here to undress, freshen up, and rest. Just let me be. My darling, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm okay. <laughs> I can see. And how is your husband? Mm. That one. He's there looking for who will lick his nyash. <laughs> My dear yes. friend. <laughs> You're very funny, Tracy. Why? Why did you say that? What happened this time? Girlfriend. This man returned from work yesterday and met the house. Obviously in a mess. And without dropping his bag or taking off his clothes, he began to yell and rant like a baby. Complaining at how the house is stinking, it's smelling, it's unkept, it's unswept, it's blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You did so well. When he was done yelling, guess what he did? What? Bros, go carry broom and bagger. He can sweep house by himself. If I not sweep now. He sweeps and clean everywhere by his damn self. That is right. You did so well. You did fantastic well. <sighs> it didn't end though. Oh, I said the family will in yash. When he was done sweeping, <laughs> he entered the kitchen uh -huh. and made noodles for himself. He didn't make for me. Because <laughs> <Hey, laughs> <not> <laughs> 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 he said he carry long food. I said now. Carry this kind of five face, the five person face. My dear, you know they find the body five face. person face. Men deserve it. They deserve to be treated with iron hand. If you don't handle them with iron hand, they will, they will take you to, they will take you for granted. I know, right? They will trample upon you and even turn you to a full stew. You did well. Ha! Not be me, Rego, turn to full stew. They're not born aware. I have told him, if he wants to have the house clean and swept and bleh and bleh with food in the pot in the kitchen, he should hire a house help. Correct. She hire a cook. Ma'am. A nanny, whatever they call them these days, chaperone, I don't know, but somebody to do the work. Not me. Exactly, my dear friend. Certainly not me. You're a housewife, not a house help. And a princess. A queen. A queen, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Better they go by the distance. Let's, let's go, go, let's go, go let's go. Not my now. They had their bros, they are so fine. I'll show everything to you. Are you serious? Yes. Let's say you like the party. What do you like? I'll be fine, girl. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into you, my friend. Hey, baby. Hello, darling. How was your day? Good. I'm famished. Mm. Is there any food in this house? Mm? Oh! No. I didn't cook. What do you mean you didn't cook? What have you been doing since morning? And today is Saturday. Baby, take a look around the house. What? It's sparkly clean, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, well done. Thank you. But that's not enough reason not to cook. Look, I went out for a meeting since morning. A hectic business meeting. And I didn't eat a thing the whole day. Oh. Come on. I thought you would eat outside. Why are, you, why are you sounding like this? You and I know that I don't eat out. I don't eat any food that I do not know how it was prepared. Mm. Or what it was prepared with. Yeah. By the way, what happened to the money I gave you for food stuff and upkeep? I still have the money. But I haven't had time to shop food condiments. Sorry. You can have noodles. Oh, shit. oh look. See, I missed the main part. I've been waiting for this part, but then you walked in and you distracted me. 
Woman. Woman? I'm hungry. Wait, 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 just wait. I need something. Something. Oh my god! Oh! Must be out of your mind. You can eat noodles. Back from work, you're fixing something to eat. You're overreacting. If you're hungry, make noodles and eat. <laughs> I predicted. <gasps> Don't, don't take it. Don't take it. It's a trap. It's a trap. Try your oranges. One is fifteen naira, but I can give you three for hundred. Oh, that's kind of you. Thank you, sir. How come a good-looking girl like you is doing this kind of job? I mean, you should have been in school studying, or probably doing something better with your life than hawking oranges. Sir, I would have loved to do that if my parents were still alive. Oh, my God! I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you have siblings, relatives? I have none. You're all alone? God. Okay, I would uh, buy all of them. Everything. Everything. How much is that? Entire orange here. I want to buy all. Would you like to work as a maid, house help, in salary? Hmm? And probably you can save up some money to go back to school or learn one craftsmanship. Something that will be more lucrative than selling oranges. What do you say? Yes. In my own house. You can work as my house help. Yes. I really want to help you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> so, what do you say? Sir, I would like to think about this. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm grateful. That's fine. I should pack it now. Yeah. Once you make up your mind, give me a call. Okay? Do you have a phone? My number? 090. Six five, five three nine, nine three four nine zero. That is three nine and zero. Okay. Once you make up your mind, call me. Alright? I'll be willing to give you the job. Bye-bye. Three. 
Tracy? Maybe. Guess what? What? I found us a house help. Good for you. Good for me? Come on. Why would you react like that? I, I thought this is what you wanted. You're supposed to be happy. I'm supposed to be happy? Because you found a freaking maid? It's not that deep, baby. I mean, does finding me a maid give me all the money and comfort that I deserve? Please, say something else. I don't have time for your sarcasm. Found us a maid. find a maid all you want, but get this, when she shows up here, she better show up ugly as hell. <laughs> and she better not be light skinned, because I know you love light skinned ladies, you can't seem to take your eyes off them when you see them. You married me, dark skinned girl, because you love me too much and you couldn't stay away. Oh, awesome. So you remember I love you so much. Anyways, she is ugly. You July, okay? Like very ugly, but light skin. Look, darling, she's just a girl. An orphan, all right? She means no harm. She just wants the job. An orphan? Yeah. You want to hire an orphan. So what happens? If there's any kind of emergency when you hire her, where is her guarantor? Who is the middleman in all of this? You're about to make a big mistake. Baby, come on. Those things don't matter, okay? For now, when we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. Huh? Look, you have somebody here to help out. And that's what matters. Leave the rest for me. Hmm. I thought you were supposed to be happy about this. Because you don't you don't really do anything. And somebody is going to be here too. Right, right. Alright, sorry, I'm my bad. Don't sorry. get restarted. I'm sorry. You don't want to go there. Okay. My bad. I found us somebody that will do the job of cleaning and washing. And I'll be paying the salary. Capish? I didn't even ask you your name that day. How are you? Good. So, have you thought about my job offer? And? Good. So, can you resume work tomorrow? If that's okay by you. Alright then. See you tomorrow. Send you the address. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey baby. Hi. Good to think you're here. Where is I? Um, I just spoke to the girl, Mirabel. Uh the the, the the one that will be coming to help out with the chores. The house help. Oh, the maid. The maid, yeah. The maid. Okay. Mm-hmm. So she's coming? Yes. Today? No, tomorrow. She'll resume fully tomorrow. Well, let's see till she gets here. I mean, I'm hoping that she meets all my criteria. Otherwise, she's fired on arrival. She'll meet your criteria. Don't worry about that. Okay? What does she look like? She's a uh, light skin, hmm. but not pretty. She no fine. No worry. <laughs> well. I'm serious. She better show up here ugly as hell. For your own good. Don't worry about it. She's coming to work. I thought you would be excited. 
I need somebody to help out. I'm fine now, can you tell? Now I have to I will now go and leave in a good house and start eating good food. Not especially. So any money. It's not that I will stop this a hog now, a hog of it. From one thing to the other. Please, let me live a good life and live that good life. So when I have a job, <laughs> let me go and park. You don't say to what I start with. I start with what? told you that will be helping out with the chores. Uh, the maid. Yeah, good evening. She's just a maid. You could have just said meet the maid. You didn't need to beat around the bush. <laughs> Welcome, maid. That's okay. Uh, meet Tracy, my wife. Mirabelle. Sir. We expect you to do your work in this house diligently. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, come with me. I'll show you to your room. Yes. This way. Oh, no. Here we are. Come in. So, uh, this is your room from today. Come in. Put your bag on the bed. Good. Now, um, so this is your room from today. Okay? Feel free, make yourself comfortable. Alright? Once you're done parking, come downstairs and I'll show you the rest of the house. Thank you, sir. All right, feel free. It's your room. Okay, I'll be waiting for you down. Eternity giving her that directive. I mean, what were you doing with her, really? What kind of question is that? Are you not supposed to be the one showing her around? I'm doing it because she refused to do it. I told her to make herself comfortable. 
and uh, come downstairs once she's done unpacking. Hmm. Is that right? I really hope it's not what I'm thinking. You can go ahead and think whatever you want. Seriously? I should think whatever I want? How do they take nonsense? Hmm. Franka, let me call you back. Mirabel! Mirabel! Call me, what's that sound? Okay, this sound was from outside. Outside? Yes, from outside. You are sure? Yes, ma'am. What are you doing inside? I'm cooking in this soup. Cook it well. Cook it very, very well. Yes, that is my husband's favorite food. Yes, now go. Sorry I had to hang up on you. I heard a sound and I needed to be sure if it was coming from my house or from outside. Thankfully it's from outside. Well, I intend to tell my husband about it so that he can do something on the matter. Not for so... Girl, I no go lose guard. Na mumu de de inside water, so go enter in eye. And I no be mumu. Trust me. I trust me on this. I got this. I beg, no rest. Ma de go my kitchen. She says she's cooking a goose. I need to keep my eyes on her. Before somebody puts love portion in our meal. Ma, I okay, I'll, I'll call you later. Don't hesitate to let me know if you find anything difficult. Okay? Thank you. Now come and help me open the gate. Calling to give you updates. Guess what? My husband has given me a whooping sum of 50,000 naira to shop for a dirty house girl. Hmm. I didn't even think of this. How come? And here I was cringing at the thought of shopping with a whole 50,000 naira for that yeye girl. Thank you. Now go, go, they bless you for me, my friend. Bend down, sir. Let's here I come. 
Let me call him. I know, I know, thank you. I'll be on my way now. I'll call him when I return, okay? <laughs> Precious, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, oh my sister. I'm fine. Well, Mr. Ray is nice. He's a very nice man. But his wife, very, very wicked. I don't know what I've done to that woman to be treating me like this. She doesn't like me. I don't know what I did to her. Hmm? You know the reason I'm here? I'm here to gather money. So that's I can end up for that dream that you told me about. Yes, but the pay is 40k. Mm -hmm. It's 40k. So I will enjoy anything that I will be seeing here because I know that it's going to be tough. I know that more will be coming. But I have to pay it so that I can lose the money so that I can end up. Mm. No problem. Let me go ahead. It's like she's getting ready for work. Let me go before she leaves. She realizes that I'm making go. I don't want more trouble. Okay? How is your mother? She's still in the hospital. So you know my commissioner cannot go out. I'm like a prisoner here. Okay? That's why I didn't come. So thank God that she has been discharged. Give my advice to her. I stay well, eh? I'll call you. Bye. bring anyone into my house for you. Thank you take them to your room and begin to change into each of the clothes right now I'm waiting to see how you look in them What is this one now? I'm thinking that I'm up to 40 years 
It's fine. It's very fine. I like it. Don't you like it? Eh? You see what Don't you like it? Like you have a better choice. Listen. From today, this is what you'll be wearing. This and the others that look like it. I mean, the whole package I brought back. Like this. Wear them in my house. You understand? If I ever see you wearing anything that is not this or any other one amongst the pack I brought, you know what's gonna happen? You'll be fired. What did I say? Fired! Yes, go on. You lose your job. End of history. Now go. You're fine, you're fine, go. <laughs> Mirabel, I want to drink water. Clothes are you wearing? Really? She did? Do I bite? Come and stand here. What cream do you use? Just a normal cream. A normal cream. Take this. What do I do with it? It is now your body cream. Huh? From today, when you take your bath, this black gel will moisturize your body. You're too yellow. I don't like it. Did you hear me? Your yellowness, your brightness, this is bothering me. So if you're going to live in my house, that I enjoy with my husband, you rub this to turn down all this, all this yellowness. You understand? Ma, I can't apply gel on my body. It will stick on my body. Besides, gel is meant for hair, not for body. Really? Is that so? Gel is meant for hair. It's not for body. Don't you dare argue with me when I talk. I said this is yours. Now take it and begin to apply it. Sorry, Ma, I can't put gel on my body. You can't. I can't put gel. Well, I, I can't. can't. I actually Sorry. can. Ma, please. Come on, Sandy. See? This is how you do it. You take a bath. You 
open your body and rub it. See? See? Like this. Why are you crying? Are you a fool? See, we put it in your hand, smell it nicely, and you go. See? You won't die. You only get a little black. Come to me. Oh! Or run away from me. Like this. When he finishes, you tell me I'll buy more for you. You hear? Rob. Rob. Rob the rest of your body. It's jail. The woman I met, did they say that if you rub it on your body that you die? Did they say that? This is yours. Don't do otherwise. Don't drop that your normal cream. This is the new normal. This is the new normal. Say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. If it's you, if it's you, look good. What is the meaning of this madness? What do you have all over your body? Are you beginning to play around too much? You look like you fell into a mud or something. You're looking blue, black, yellow, different colors all over you. What is this? Huh? Then what? Uh, 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 what? You're stuttering. Answer me. Why do you have this all over your body? No one gave me a jet to apply on my body ice cream. I refused to apply it on my body. She was my clothes off me and I applied it herself. Oh my God! Wait! What did you just say? My, my wife did what? What is going on in my house? My wife gave you hair cream to, to apply on your body as body cream? It's unbelievable. This is pure wickedness. In my own house, step aside. This is, this is madness. In my own house. Oh, my hands come That's why I say, look on in yours tomorrow. How could you? How could you be this this heartless? How could you be this mean? I'm sorry, what are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. I don't. Tracy. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want to believe that you're you're evil incarnate. How does it make sense that you applied hair gel on somebody's body? Why? Why, why, why? Why are you being so mean to another human being like you? Ah, please, Ray. You left me no choice when you brought a light-skinned girl to be my housemate. After I warned you specifically to make sure she's not light-skinned. You two are trying to trick me. You brought a girl that is your girlfriend, a girl that you're obviously crushing on because I know how you crush on light-skinned girls. You brought a girl that you're crushing on to be my mate and you think I'll fall for it? The idea is to make her a little bit dark skinned or completely dark skinned if she must retain her job, I mean. This is unbelievable. Tracy, can you hear yourself? Mm -hmm. What exactly are you trying to say? Huh? If, if you are right, why then did I marry you? Because you love me. So, doesn't that explain that it's not about skin color for me? Oh, please. With men, no one should take chances. You can like me a lot, love me to the moon and back, but it doesn't mean that you will not have an erection for a light skinned girl when you see one. 
I know you that well. My goodness. You are impossible. Ah, uh, am I? What more do you want to do? What more haven't you done? Why do you hate this girl so much? What's the hatred for? I gave you money to get her some clothes and you went ahead to give back all that rubbish. Hey. That rubbish you gave to her. Why? Those clothes are lovely. It's be fitting for her statues. Wait, I should get her wrong way clothes. So she can... <clears throat> Why she clean our house? Those clothes are really befitting. Don't give me crap about that. Listen, Tracy. I have thrown away that jail. You, you will not do that again. If you try that again, I will not forgive you. Oh, I will too. I'm... You see, I'm going to buy dozens of hair gels for her to rub on her freaking skin color. Because that's what she should get. She should darken a little bit if she wants this job. You can bet. You can bet I'm not backing down my stance on this. What kind of a woman did I marry? The kind you love, Amy. God. You better not be going to her room to sympathize and play Mr. Nice Guy because I will come there and give you guys some bloody hell. Go on, let's go have some fun in her room. Yeah, lie down, it's bedtime. Oh good, you came back. Lie down, baby, it's bedtime. My, he sold it on my body and forced the truth out of me. I didn't report you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. Please forgive me. You're what? I'm sorry, ma. You are what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 what? Too bad. I don't forgive. Sorry. You are in big trouble. You are in big soup and I feel for you. Notebook. You will pay for this report. You will pay heavily for opening your stupid mouth to spew rubbish. I need to get a hold of my emotions so I can plan how to tackle you, stupid idiot. Bring that home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can at least have some tea before you go. Nah, fine. I'll take something when I get to the office. Seriously? Here she comes. Good. How's that smell? What? Why are you wearing that dress? This was great. Baby. She's stinking. Can't you perceive the smell? Baby, come on. Oh! Oh, hold on. Let's go. Look at that smell. Is she planning to kill the people at the hospital with that toxic smell? Wearing that dress? Baby. I told her to stop finding that. She's going out with me now. She needs to look decent. At least decent enough. I'll see you when I get back. Come on, you don't have to do all that. Baby. Yeah, sure. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody. You cannot tell what tomorrow brings. Nobody. Some people think. Baby? 
Get hungry. Go back. Yes. I... Why so early? What happened? I decided to come back after I picked up the result. I was so upset. Upset? What did the result say? Baby. She is one month pregnant. What? Yes. She's <laughs> pregnant. Is this a joke? Wait, who is pregnant? Mirabel? Mirabel. He's pregnant? Yes. I can't believe it. <laughs> what? How can she be pregnant? Who got her pregnant? I don't know. She didn't tell you? I've been asking her this. Several times she refused to tell me who is responsible. Where is Severin? she? Upstairs, resting. Oh no, I'm going to drag her down here so she can tell us who... What am I saying? So I can drag her out of no, my no, no, house? No, 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 honey, wait. What? No, no, please. Just let her rest. When she wakes up, we'll find out... No, 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 she can't be resting in my house when she's pregnant. Especially considering that I have won her several enough to let those boys into my house. She eventually did and now she's pregnant. She's telling me to come down. Just come down. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, honey, look, we'll definitely find out who is responsible. But I think oh, it's best to leave her to rest. Honey, just calm down. Let's just go upstairs. Mirabel! Baby, honey, what? just calm down. No, 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 no. Please. I can't let her sleep. From the moment she got pregnant, she's lost sleep in my house. Exactly. Mirabel! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mirabel! Wait, 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 honey! I am going to ask you one more time and God help you this time to answer correctly. Who is responsible for this idiotic pregnancy of yours? Respond! Oh, I was with my... I was with my mother to go and get something. Four boys captured me and they took me to another computer building that they raped me. You were raped? Yes, ma. Oh my god. What? Why, why didn't you tell us? Why did she say? You're an idiot! You're a bum fool! Stupid! How did you get raped and you didn't think to tell anybody? I was afraid. Oh God. Do you know how dumb that makes you? You know what? This is the height. This, this foolishness you just exhibited just has to be the height of all the foolery you ever exhibited since you came into my house. And you know what? I, I will not take it. Just get in there. Go into your room, pack every trash, every rag that belongs to you, and get the hell out of my house. Baby, 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 please. Get out now! Baby, baby, calm down. Baby, please. Just calm down, okay? Show her some mercy. Look at her condition. If you send her out now, where would she go with this pregnancy? I don't know! And sincerely, I don't care where she goes. It's not my business. And it's not your business wherever she goes. But the bottom line is that she's leaving right this minute. It's my business. You. You. I'm human. Just like she is. Look, she has, she has made a mistake. Okay? Let's just... Please, just, just calm down. Take it easy with her. You're seriously begging on her Darling, what can we do? The girl is already pregnant. It's unfortunate, but throwing her out, I don't think that will go well with this girl. That will be the end of her. Please. Now you, go upstairs. Kneel back down. Baby. Okay. You want her to stay? Yes. Okay. She'll stay, but know this. She is totally your responsibility. Agreed. Huh? And listen, I don't care. I don't give a rat's ass if she's pregnant or not. All her chores she must continue to do. Sure. All of them. 
Joan. You hear that? Yes. All of it. Everything. Do it. Yes. She will. You heard that? Yes. Did you hear what she said? Yes, sir. You will not use this as an excuse. You will clean, wash everything you have been doing. Everything. Do you understand? <laughs> now get out! Go to your room. Baby, baby, ah! baby. Get out! <laughs> Who gets pregnant in 21st century from a rape? Who does that? How could she? Silly girl. Oh, huh? How can a grown up girl like this get pregnant from rape? And she could not open her mouth and say, Nini, she huh? told us about the rape. She's a stupid girl. But baby, please. Just slow down. Let's not let our issues walk us up so much. Please. Okay. We'll, 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 uh, we'll just figure out how to sort this out later. We can make decisions in this in this mood, this anger. Okay, please. It's crazy. I know you're disappointed, but it's so crazy. We will find a way out. Please, I'm more concerned about you. Your state of mind. Don't let this bother you. Okay, please. I'm fine. Please, baby. Let's go out. It's okay, my love. It's unfortunate. No, this way, baby. This way. This way to our room. Easy, easy, baby. Tell her up why I'm talking to you. What is the meaning of this? She at this. Why is my shirt not ironed? I told you to iron my shirt. And what did you do? Huh? Why didn't you iron my shirt? Something I'm supposed to be going to work with right now. Sir, the shirt is ironed. I had what? it last night after you gave it to me. You. Are you mad? You're calling me a liar. Huh? You're trying to argue with me? Does this look does, does this look ironed? Does this look ironed? I'm sorry, ironed. You must be out of your senses. I'm sorry. Let this be the last time I will send you on something to do and you don't do it. I am the damn shirt! Stupid useless girl! I am the shirt! No sense. When will this end? When will this end? Mirabel? Mirabel? Mirabel! No, wait, I'll buy a megaphone. Yeah, I'll have a poor poor. No, bro, before you hear me. Ma. Ma. Put remote inside my hand, I beg. Remote control, Mumu. Oh, Jesus. Who should be remote, ma? Is he the one beside you? Yes. The one beside you. This one. You're asking me if it's this one. No! No, it's that one there! The one by the express! What is it? 
Please, ma, I want to register for Tinenta. I can't hear you. Please, ma, I want to register for Tinenta. You want to register for accidental care and services, right? Your salary will pay for it. If I register you for accidental services, the money that will cover for it will be deducted from your salary until the whole period is over. Is that fine by you? Good. We'll go tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. What tomorrow brings Nobody. Some people think That life revolves around them But life has a way It gives us lessons oh. And God, man, no be God Man, no be God Man, no be God Man, no be God Mirabelle. Mirabelle. Hey. God. You don't want to go for the Antinental again. You trek to the hospital as a form of exercise. I'll meet you up there. Ma. The hospital is far from home. I can't check it. Oh, you can't check it? Meaning that your plan was that you ride in my car. You like this. We enter my car. My friend, if you know what is good for you, begin now to trek to that hospital and you better not let me get there before you. Do you hear me? Where is she going? Ma, you said I should start going. Hey, so is, hey, it, is it now me that will open my that will open the gates? Is it me that will open the gates? Or you're just trying to be foolish this morning? Is it me that will open the gates? Also, go and open the gates for me before I go, Biko. Pregnant fool. Idiot. Le, 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 le. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody. You cannot tell what tomorrow brings. Nobody. Some people think that life revolves around them. But life has a way it gives us lessons. Oh. Thank God, man, no be God. Man, no be God. Man, no be God. Man will never be. Never be. Man, no be God. Man, no be God. I thank God, man, no be God. Man, no be God. Man, no be God. Man, no be Man, no be God. Man, no be God. Man, no be God. Every action gets its consequences. Get its consequences. After the race, we're gonna count the miles. Yeah. The rejected stone can be the cornerstone. That's why I say. Tomorrow. Have you prepared the pound of yam I told you to? No, sir. I was tired. After when I had finished doing the house chores. What? So you did not prepare the pound of yam I told you to? How can you? Huh? Are you mad? You had the guts to disobey me? You must be out of your mind. Silly girl. Now get inside there and prepare. Prepare the pound of game I told you to. Yes, sir. Must be very stupid. 
and make sure you make the best stamp pound of yam that ever has been made on earth. Else I'll pound on you. Mirabel! Mirabel! Come here! Sir! Sir! Go and get the gates. Okay, sir. I can't. Go, go and get the gates. Silly girl. Could never do anything right. Michael, my brother. <laughs> Don't mind me, Jerry. How's it going? I'm fine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm fine. Really, my man. Oh boy, your usual, right? It's alright. Okay. So I'm happy for you now. Mirabel, get a bottle of champagne, please. Yeah, I must say the I'm happy for you. At least you're not in good terms with your wife. You can say that again. I'm really happy myself. <laughs> that means she's allowing you in now. Ah, more than that. <laughs> she's now begging for it. For you? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, who is that girl? Is she the mirror there? Oh, yes, she is. She's not looking bad, though. Really? She's beautiful. So, that reminds me. How are you coping with her and the pregnancy? <sighs> My brother. I don't know. Since she got pregnant, all I feel for her is undiluted hatred. Why? Why not? Listen, we are doing a kept on this condition. You need to treat her nicely before she gets upset and tell your wife. She dares not. <laughs> Look, Michael, so. let's just change the topic, okay? Let's not distract ourselves. Oh boy, how far? My man, I'm Give fine. Give me the updates now. See how see they do. It is how they hear the story for sleeps. <laughs> huh? You have the updates already now. Ah, uh, but uh, you get some other things. Mirabel. 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 this list and this money. Make sure you buy everything in the list. Do not omit even one. Okay. What about my transport? Your what? Transport. Don't they tell you at your attendental service that trekking is good for you as a pregnant lady? Oh, so they do tell you? It's just that you don't want to go. Yes, My friend, trek and go is good for you. Yes. It's a form of exercise. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. 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 Of course, I have biscuit for 100 now. Biscuit. Hi, girl. 
Chicago. Oh, uh, I don't understand. This one you are eating only biscuits. Just like that. And you look so hungry and tired. What is the problem? Is it that you don't have money or something? I'm very, very hungry. I've not eaten since morning. And it's only 100 years at What about your husband? Too long. Okay, so long. Far away. Just give me some time. I have something for you, yeah? Just me. Just come. 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 Come and have a seat. Yeah? You just come. Yes, I have something for you. Just you look so tired and hungry. And you need some food. Okay? Just come and sit. They eat very well, yeah? You need good food, especially for your baby. For oh. the good, yeah? Mm. It's... I'm so happy for you. I'm happy you are eating. Take it easy. Mm. There's a lot of food. Good day, sir. What is it? The doctor said that I will likely put to bed in two weeks' time. How is that supposed to be my business? Am I a cool doctor? Huh? Please, sir. I need some money to buy my baby things. I have not bought any at all. What have you been doing with your salary? Huh? What do you do with the money you earn in this house? It's not like you spend money on food or anything. Huh? Sir, ever since I started this atinator, I have not been paid half of my salary. Because the other half is being deducted from my attendant. Ever since then, I have not been paid. Is that the agreement between you two? Yes, sir. All right. I'll give you 20,000 naira and use that to buy what you want. Manage it. Thank you, sir. And get out.
Aici! Da, e zonina, e domnul. Nu, am nu, domnul. Ai iubit că am unul, mă, care e... Nu o duc care e iubit. When you're not done. Oh. Are you trying to say I cannot take care of a baby? I want to walk out and put him on my back while I continue washing. Put him on your back? Yes. While you continue washing? God punish you. If you think it's me, you will implicate. You want to carry your baby on your back so that when the baby falls from your back and breaks his neck and dies, people will now say I'm a wicked woman. That's what you want, Abby? No, it's what you want for them to badmouth me. No, but I can't even cry now. I will lose the cross now. You will lose your life if you don't return to that area now. Yeah. I will kill you with my hands. Oh yeah. Look at this idiot. I was even coming to ask her how is it going. You want, you want, to, you want to check on your baby. So come pass now. Nah. Okay, should, should, should I use my slipper for you? When has headache ever killed any baby? If he has headache, he has headache. Uh -huh. This guy will not fall and crumble on us. She has not been able to give her husband any child, not even an Indian, not even. Time 
for us to think critically and take a very drastic step. I think it's time we, we adopt a child. A boy child, to be precise. Okay. I mean, I haven't given it so much thought, but it sounds right. Of course. Considering I can't give you some, okay? We need a child in this house. A child to call your daddy. And me, mommy. Do you have any? Do you have any offer that you hold in mind? None. But uh, look, as crazy as this might sound, we can adopt Mirabel's son. Mirabel's son? Yes. What gives you the impression she will accept? Because of our ambition to follow her studies abroad and accomplish her dream in life. This is what she talks about all the time. She will accept. Okay, then we, we're wrong with that. Offer mm -hmm. her a chance to study abroad. Yes. And have her submit her child to us so we can take care of him. She would jump to that off. That's what she has always wanted. Wait, don't be too fast. What if she declines the offer? Then we kill her. She's an orphan. Nobody will find her. I'm sorry, what? Of course. We kill her? Are you kidding me right now? I mean, I do know I hate her a lot, but I have never, ever lost the idea of taking her life. That's very extreme. What's going on with you? And what is this obsession about Mirabel and Mirabel's son when there's too many sons out there in the orphanage homes that we can take any of them properly, the way people legally adopt? We, we could do that. We don't, have to, we don't have to kill. No. I can't keep this any longer because he's killing me inside. What's killing me? What are you saying? Ray? Ray? Christopher. It's my son. Which Christopher? Mirabel's son. Christopher. It's my son. It was the one that got happy. What? Wait a minute. You mean what? I'm sorry. How? Uh, how? You better be kidding me right now. I'm going to keep it inside of me anymore, baby. I'm going to keep it inside of me. It's driving me crazy. The boy is mine. Christopher is my son. I'm sorry. It all happened a year ago. The period you were denying me sex with the excuse that I was a 13 minutes man. Stated, I felt less of myself. I needed to quench it. I wanted sex, and you denied me. You denied me of it. To quench my thirst by every means possible. 
Mirabel was the only one available to relieve me of that pain. She did it against her will. I forced her over and over each time. Wait a minute. So you were raping her then? You mean to tell me I have been living with your rapist? You caused it. You turned me into a rapist. Shut up. Shut up and don't you dare try to justify this. Why did you find a girl, any girl from outside? What difference would it have made? What difference would it have made? Tell me! I am going right now to kill that stupid bitch for infiltrating hey, 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 my home! You are not killing anyone. She is the mother of my son. Okay? You better get a hold, hold of yourself. Let, let's find a way to resolve this. Okay, if I can't kill her, I know for a certainty that she's leaving my house right this minute! Babe, nobody's going anywhere. Okay? Yes! Because, look, you just have to calm down. Let's go through with the plan. Okay? Now, now you understand the, 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 the reason I want to adopt the boy. Because he is my son. Okay? And you, you are my wife. And that, 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 that makes you the, the, the mother of the boy. Can't you see? Please, calm down. Calm down and let, let, let's walk this through. Where really you are despicable. So you knew that you got her pregnant, yet you had so much hatred in stock for her. What kind of an animal are you? Look, I felt, I felt, I felt disappointed. Myself. I felt dirty and dishonored. I wanted to send her away, but I couldn't. I wanted to force her into abortion. But she, I mean, the thought of her death from that process made me change my mind. I would have thrown her out of this house. But the fact is that she is carrying my blood, my flesh and blood inside of her. I couldn't. I couldn't go through with it. What kind of Bad are you? I don't even know you! Calm down. You got her pregnant and you made her lie that she was gang raped. What did you expect? Huh? To for me to tell you the truth? Of course you know what would have happened if I if I opened my mouth to tell you exactly what you wanted to hear. That would have been the end of it all. You would have destroyed me, destroyed her, destroyed everything. That could have been the end of the world as it is. The end of this disastrous story. Please, calm down. We, we have a lot to gain in this situation. Okay, please, pull yourself together. Don't spoil this plan, okay? We have a son now. Your son, because you're my wife. Please. I know you feel bad. I know I know I know how this feels. I, I know you feel right now like putting a bullet in my head. I understand. But don't forget what I had to go through to get us to this point. Shut up! I'm sorry! Shut up! I don't want to Okay. Alright. I'm sorry. There is nothing we can do. We have to move forward. Baby, please. Just get hold of yourself. We have to move forward. Please. It's no longer a secret that your son is actually my husband's son. You were not raped. It was my husband that got you pregnant. Shush. 
I'm not offended anymore. I mean, how can I be offended when it was not your fault? How can I be offended when in reality it was my fault? I... I stabbed my husband. I stabbed my husband sexually for one whole month. That action gave rise to your pregnancy and now the baby. Well, I have chosen to put all that in the past where it belongs and forge ahead with the future. That said, we have a proposal. Okay, now what is the proposal? Now that your son is a year old, we want you to move on with your life. I mean, we want you to further your education outside this country. It's good for you. It's good for the baby. Except that you're not traveling with the baby. The baby will remain here with us. Like I said earlier, I'm not mad at you anymore. I mean, you are only but a victim. But you must think futuristic now. You must secure a good future for you and your son by submitting yourself to Western studies like we're offering you. Hmm? Mirabelle? Uh, Mirabelle, what my wife is trying to say is that we will raise your son, our son, until you're, you're capable enough to give him the best life that he deserves. Until you get the quality education and, you know, be in a better position to give them a good life. Okay? Remember, remember, this is what you have always wanted for him. Hmm. Yes, sir. It is what I have always wanted, and I still do. And leaving it behind is a problem. What is the problem about that? Huh? How is that a problem? Please, you don't have to be stubborn about this. Nobody knows tomorrow. We don't know the future, okay? While you're away, my wife will be his mom, okay? Thank you, sir. I think you need to think about it. I'll give you feedback tomorrow morning. Okay. Take your time. Think about it. But know this. We have started to process your visa. The application is on as I speak to you. Listen, Mirabel, don't be the one to stand in your own way. Get out of your own way. You need this. The key to your future is in your hands. Okay? You can go. <laughs> Don't forget to take your medication. How are you, my daughter? I'm fine. How is Chris, your son? He's fine. That one cry, cry. <laughs> Ma, I came to tell you something. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Mr. Chris and his wife want to send me abroad to further my education. 
they said now that my son is a year old, that they will take care of him until I come back. Besides, it's still his son. But the way I'm looking at you, you look so worried and confused. But is it because of the wife? You think the wife is going to harm you, so right? Exactly, ma. I'm confused and afraid. Because I know that woman. I don't want her to harm my son because if anything should happen to that boy, I will die. My dear, nothing will happen to him. Like you rightly said before, you said the boy is the son, right? Yes. So you don't need to worry about that. Nothing will happen to that child. You know the wife does not have any child mm -hmm. to carry the husband's name. So therefore, in no time, the husband will start agitating to have another wife. And by having your son with her. She knows that everything I have belongs to you. You're my son. Okay? Don't forget. If daddy. Is that the gate? Hold on. I'll be right back. Hmm? And don't change this channel again. Okay. Hmm. How are you? I'm here to see my son. Oh, Christopher. Well, um, sure, sure, you can. No, 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 wait. Look, nobody's stopping you from seeing your son, all right? Because the, the, the handsome boy is your son and my son, okay? But, but, but the thing is, right now, he's, uh, he's sleeping. That means you can come back another time and see your son. What is it? Relax, don't be in a hurry. Don't tell me you're looking to see Christopher. Of course. Why is am I here for? Okay, listen. Um I, I just I just want to apologize again. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. I'm sorry for all the bad things that I did. I just feel that you have not forgiven me. No. I forgive me a very long time ago, so I have nothing against you. Let me just go straight to the point, okay? I miss you. Huh? Yes. Miss who? I mean, you, you don't know what I've been going through in my house. Living with my wife is like living with a fellow man. What is my business? She cannot conceive. She's barren. But look at you. Just, just look at the handsome boy you gave me. Christopher is... I love him so much. And, 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 and just imagine, there's nothing more left. Just move in. Let's stay together as one family. Okay? Because I am sure that inside your tummy are still more beautiful boys and girls that you can have for me. Because you are fertile, you are clean, you are fresh. And I'm good. I'm very good. Mr. Raymond. Listen, all I'm trying to say is this. It makes no difference. Come in, let's live as a family. Have more babies for me. Because I want more babies. Stop, 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 stop Mr. Raymond. Stop! I'm, I'm Do not forget that we were not in any form of relationship before. I was only a poor girl you brought into your house. And you made me a maid and your sex toy. Don't forget about that. An action I deeply regret to you today. Oh, you have not started. You have not started. Please, I want to start going. No. Look, think about what I'm saying. I know you hate me, but look at the future. Look at the boy you gave me. A golden boy. I want to start going. You can give me a golden boy. Let me go. Let me go. You want me to no. change for you, the Chris? No. It's now you realize that your wife is a bad woman. Let eh? the past be. Let the past be. Okay, let bygone be. Let's look at the future of more babies. More babies. Come, I, I, I'll be bearing it. Do not make me to lose it, please. Come I beg on. you in the name of God. You already gave me Christopher. You can give me Christiana. The hell with you! Come down. Please. Listen, Mirabel. 
I just want more babies, okay? More boys and girls, all right? Christiana, I just want more kids with you, please. Brother, please, think about it. We can have more babies, okay? One big family. You have nothing to lose, okay? Listen, you give me Christopher. Give me Christiana. I can do it. And you can do it. Please. Chris, Chris. Then what was the noise at the gate? The noise? Did you hear some noise from here? Yes. Oh, really? Look, it's nothing. It's just uh, somebody trying to sell us some fake product. You know all these people that go around from house to house yeah. and trying to market some product. I was like, do not come back here again. So it's nothing. They left. Okay. So where were we? I hope you didn't change the channel. I love you, okay? What happened? Why are you crying? What's, what's the issue? What? What do you mean he's not in school? My son Christopher is missing. What is that even supposed to mean? He must be found immediately. Do that fast. I'm coming to that school to hear the rubbish they told you now. Do it fast. Out of our house, he chased me out. <laughs> I can't go into all that details. I just need to be at your place right away so I can drop my luggage, take a bath, and rest. In fact, sort myself out basically. <laughs> yes. Your place? No, 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 Franka. I'll get your place. It's not your problem at all. But right now, I need to be at yours so I can drop my luggage at least and take a shower. Franka, 